Ahead will drop it back. Chris Mew speeds up the right wing side. A partial break and a wrist shot slowed down nicely by DeLuca on defense. And it was an easy save by Lockers. Titanic stealing it now. And he scores! David Titanic catches everybody by surprise, including Jared Lockhurst. And Oswego with 32.6 to go in the first has gotten on the board first. All set up by Chris Mews. Takes that shot in down low. Gets denied by Lockers. But I'm not sure how David Titanic snuck that one by. Beats Lockers top shelf glove side. Just really snuck it in in the tiniest hole he could find between Lockers in the back of the net. Give credit to Titanic. Just gets a shot on net. Finds a... Finds that first goal. It gives the Lakers a really important goal at the end of the, near the end of the first period. Through the middle, Batum deflects it in wide of the Brockport net. Batum gets there first. Takes it in behind, absorbs the big check, held in by Carr. He sends it in front to line. Brock McConney up top, fires, deflected, rebound. They score! Chris Carr jumps on the rebound at the side of the net. He does the Chris Brown celebration, and the Lakers take a 2 to nothing lead. Big shot from Jesse McConney. Lockers sees that big kick saved out in front. Chris Carr right in the doorstep, able to bury a blocker side off of Lockers. The Lakers, another late period goal as Chris Carr is able to get his fifth in the season. But he's really been almost a magician, Mike. Able to take away so many opportunities, moves the puck so well, and a lot of moves to get by some defenders here with his speed. Batum works his way back up top. King. Slapping it back into the corner again. It bounces right out in front of the net. They score! You talk about being in the right place at the right time and the right man as well. Chris Aya, top shelf three. Nothing else we go. Chris Aya, Mike, as you said, right in the slide area. He gets his 13th goal in the season. And just sloppy play by Brockport. Turnovers galore. Not even through the puck out of their own zone. Just bit bad passes up. Bad passes that were deflected by the Lakers forwards and sets up Chris Ayotte beautifully in front of the net to find the Lakers' third goal of the night. Lakers win the faceoff. They're over their last 20. Chris Ayotte snaps his stick in two, and it goes all the way off into the corner. And he'll just step off on a change. And it's carried back by Vison and up the left side. He scores! Vison in with just a prayer, and it's answered. Short-handed, Brockport's on the board. Vison gets his first goal in the season, and I'm not sure how that one snuck by. Pair glove side right in the right in the top of the net, and really just a, like something like a prayer of an effort by Vison. And so as as Josepher was taking him to the boards, and Brockport was able to get on the board with, a, with their first goal to make it three to one. But you know what's the goal Andrew Hare wants to have back. It's over two minutes to go in regulation. Whitelaw hanging on, knowing the Lakers lead by two. Josepher tries again, passing rebound. Hey! They score! Luke Moody right there to break the power play drought and restore the three-goal lead. And what some tic-tac-toe passing by the Lakers as Luke Moody gets his 14th goal of the season. Whitelaw finds Josepher. Josepher just inside the circle, the center of the circle, takes that shot, big rebound out in front, and Moody's able to bury it to the Lakers at fourth goal. And as you said, Mike, break that power play drought and get back in the right track here with just 2.05 remaining in the third period. Singleton could not get a shot away in the slot. Back up it comes to the point. Ferris plays it off to Muse. Muse hanging on. Ferris, one-time shot, dribbles through. Loose puck, rebound, scores! Chris Muse able to dig it out from underneath the pile. And push it into the net for a 5-1 to one Oswego lead. Chris Mew's fifth goal in the season. A two-point night for him. And just a garbage goal out in front as Lockers couldn't control the puck. and couldn't find it in a sea of Lakers and Eagles in front of him. Mew gets the lucky bounce out in front. Buries it. He gives the Lakers five goals and running away with it. The Lakers are in the last few minutes of this third period. White law back down low. Peter Rodriguez trying to move his way in front. Taken... And lifted to the blue line and out. But the game comes to an end, and the Lakers get a 5-1 to one victory over the Brockport Golden Eagles. Finishing strong and getting the final homestand with the students in attendance off to a good start.